Welcome back to the Artie Lag Show, talking to the great Vinny Pastor. And uh, Vin, so now you're working with Woody Allen in a play. In a play, yeah. My God, you got a hell of a career going on here. Luke Passan, Woody Allen. Well, uh, you do a it's, ballet it's, next? What's going it's on? like, you know, <laughs> I, it's a little comeback for me, to tell you the truth, Artie. Where'd you go? You never went anywhere. I was a little slow, man. <laughs> sometimes <laughs> that happens. It's an awful business that way. Well, so, sometimes, know? like, you know, it ain't happening. Well, what'd you do? What are you doing for Woody? Well, what happened is that um, uh, I heard from a friend of mine that he was doing a, a play of Bullets Over Broadway. Oh, uh, okay. And uh, he Great had a movie. Yeah, Great he movie. auditioned uh, for the Joe Vitarelli part. And Tony Sirico Cer is in that actual movie. He's got a. He's got a small Tony Sirico's in, in the movie. Tony Darrow's in the movie. Yeah. Chaz is in the movie. Um, but the, now they're doing a musical out of it. Oh my with God. With Susan Strothman. Are who, you singing in this in this play? Yeah. Wow. You can sing and you belt so out So you're a, a good singer? Think, uh, Artie, they gave me the part. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's a different question than I asked, but that's fine. Well, they gave Russell Crowe the part in Les Miserables. And he well, that's right. That's how I sing. Brutal. I sing a listen to my voice. I sing like Russell Crowe. <laughs> Two, four, six, oh, one. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I got a couple of songs I got to Now, sing. I love that movie. Do you dance? Do you play the Joe, Vi uh, the Joe Vitt Joe part? Joe Vitarelli part. You do. And I play Nick. I run the <laughs> nightclub. I got a young Gumad. She can't sing or dance to save her life. Jennifer Tilly's so good in the movie. Yeah. 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 Well, she's not in the play. Not in the play. But you got any real but, Broadway people. But um, what's his name? Zachary, Zach Braff? Uh -huh. yeah. The guy from yeah. Scrub. Yeah. He's playing the lead. Oh, okay. okay. That's yeah, great. I'm uh, having the John, fun. Yeah. The John Cusack. Part. Right. Mm -hmm. And we go into rehearsal. Talk about this. October, we did already a week of workshops. Right. Then we go back October 28th and we work until November 15th. It's a lot of work. Then we close down. Then we go back January 15th, and we work until March, and then we open in April. You're taking all the holidays off. Uh, I can't really... Uh, if you said to me, let's do Beer League 2, yeah. I may have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people got it because no one's signing a check for that. But uh, <laughs> now I, you, I saw you, Ralph you, the other day. You were up for Beer League 2. Beer League 1 you were up for. And you, I was you, in you, my uh, bed, and I the, the, my agent came in. You called me. You don't I remember? Know. Yeah, well, I would, you don't you, remember. You blew us off. I was. I had a heart attack. Stop. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> no, actually, oh. was, that was actually rough news. I was like, yeah, Vinny Pastor had a heart attack. But you're fine now. You look very healthy. Yeah. Yeah. Some I was dating some girl. She gave me a heart attack. <laughs> that happens. <laughs> oh. That happens. It could be good or bad. I was not. I was. I was. I was cursing when. Uh, yeah. When now, I was what, in uh, <laughs> now what? Now uh, what? How do you, you know Ralph Macho well? Do you work with Ralph? I saw Ralph. No, I saw him at one of those uh, things where we sign pictures. What do you call oh. them? Oh. Uh, Megafest. You do a lot. Do you do a lot of those? I was with Ralph and Henry Winkler and um, a couple other guys. Oh, okay. But you so know what? Iconic, it me. iconic movie and actor, you know. Yeah, well, yeah. That, you know, we sit around, we try to make a buck now. <laughs> <laughs> selling our pictures. And there was a Pam Greer was there. Right. But you know what bothers me about this? I mean, originally these things are designed for kids, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, the, the kids, because they want to buy the combo. The Comic-Con type stuff. You know who was there? Tara Patrick. <laughs> oh, it's not for kids. Tara Patrick had her own booth. And she was selling like uh, DVDs the of porn, porn star, yeah. and next to her was like a Mickey Mouse lookalike selling <laughs> Looney Tunes or something. And I said, <laughs> "What is this?" Well, that's where they, again, there's no boundaries anymore. It's just money. Like uh, Tara Patrick bringing some scratch, it's fine. She's gonna sit there. She's gonna spot. I just don't get it no more. I mean, you know, you pick up your kid, you say, "Let's go to New York at one o'clock." You pay thirty five dollars to go in, and you got Tara Patrick in there <laughs> with a with a dildo sitting on a thing, <laughs> and the kid's saying, "Hey, Daddy, what's that?" He said, "Keep walking." That's big pushy. That's a dildo. <laughs> that's it. I don't know. Yeah, I'm doing a Woody Allen play. He now is he directing? Uh, he, no, Susan's directing, but Woody don't say much. Does he sit there? Uh, he don't say nothing. Does he have to rehearse? Don't bring him out of his talk show. You will get a word out. <laughs> of That'll him. come out. But, but now, what about the rehearsals? He just sits there at the he rehearsals. Watches you. Yeah. Yeah. And he gives her. Well, yeah. Susan's the one who did the uh, producer. Yeah, right. So she's and a big deal. And she's got deal. the big fish out now. Mel Brooks. She's a big deal. He don't say nothing. He just sits there and just watches. He said to me one day, "Hey, Van." That mustache, is that a prop? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's you my had a mustache. mustache at the time. He said, can you take it off? I said, I'll take it off when I go home and I shave tonight. I can't just peel it off. That's now. how he said that? Is that a prop? That That's what he said to me in like two months so far. Is that, is that a prop? Is that a prop? 
Okay. <laughs> I've heard he doesn't say anything. He's yeah. quiet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But now, yeah. Is, that, is that disconcerting for you? This iconic guy is is right there, not saying anything. I'm a little intimidated. I mean, because I mean, it's a, you almost want him to say something, you know. It's like, you want to know if you're doing a good job. Right, right. You want right. to know if you're gonna uh, you got a job tomorrow. I mean, just you're, you're a little intimidated. You would know by now. I, I'm sure you're, you're doing great. I'm sure you would know by now if he doesn't want you. Well, they do. They got to get rid of you early. What do you know? They'll get rid of you early. What do you know? I talked to Woody last night. He said, he said, big pussy can't do you're it. Fine. You're going to come in and you're going to play the role? He said, you're fine. Oh, all he right. Said you're fine. Okay. He said, Zach, Zach okay, Braff thanks, is on. Okay, thanks, Zach right. I feel much better now. <laughs> Zach Braff's in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> They're scouring for a Zach Braff type right now. <laughs> Actually, I was thinking, you know, Matthew Broderick is available now. I mean, if Zach falls on his face, I bet they grab Matthew. Why is he available? Mm -hmm. Because he was oh, doing, um, he was like? doing something nice. I, I, I know I'm, I'm like into Broadway now. He's doing the nice work if you can get it. In yeah, the yeah. So the he's latest, available. the feminine project. Right. And does. Nathan, Nathan Lane's available too. <laughs> what do you think of Matthew Broderick? Because he's pretty effeminate, that guy. I had a little problem with him. <laughs> what happened? You did? Yeah, years ago at the China Club. <laughs> what? Happened? I swear to God, you want what? me to talk about? Yeah. Of course, I want you to talk about. It. I go up to the China Club. Uh, the, not when they were uptown, the, the, where it is now. What is the China Club? It's a restaurant or it's wait, a wait, men's you, you club? You've never been to the it's China Lancaster. Club? No. I... Well, the original <laughs> was on the Upper West Side, famous for every Monday night. It was like a huge thing. But now it's in Midtown by Times yeah. Square. Is it, it a ain't bar even hip or is it? It's a club. It's a club. club. Two, like three floors. Like a, like right. a club club. But like it's not club. even hip anymore. There was a time it was hip. You it's know? A, it, it, was the, it was like, you know what? It was kind of like late 80s, early 90s, the sort of the uh, Studio 54 of that day. And all the Yankees uh -huh. were hanging out there before they would play baseball the next day. I knew because it was right uh -huh. around the block from uh, Stand Up New York. And I used to go there uh, sometimes after a show. Uh, the manager of Stand Up New York had a connect there. You mean so the original one? Yeah. Yeah. We go around Which the is where show. I'm doing my play with Nikki, up, upstairs from Stand oh, Up New York. Oh, the original one, okay. Yeah. Oh, Stand Up New York, that's right. So, uh, Matthew Broderick, um, there was a party or something for the Yankees, and you know how you go into China Club and there's that upper level? Yeah. You go up there and you buy $500 for a bottle of champagne. Right. Or something. So, I wasn't uh, known that much back then. Uh -huh. now. And I wanted to get up there and, and see Matthew. So the security guy... Uh, Why'd you want to see him? I wanted to meet the guy. Oh, okay. You know, he was in The Freshman. He did right. a couple right. of movies. He's very, very talented guy. guy. So I go up there, and um, and I said, hello, Matthew. And he said, who are you? <laughs> 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 and I had a, one year on The Sopranos. Oh, and I said, so, so you know, But it wasn't really popular yet. Oh, okay. And I said, I'm big pussy. And he was with... Uh, Sarah Jessica, right, and I, she was on Sex and the City. I said, "You don't know me. I'm big pussy. They got mad." <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, between me and you, I don't think Matthew Broderick is interested in big pussy. <laughs> Uh, well, so you annoyed like a power couple. Yeah, and we made the paper the next day. What? It said Page was, six. It said there was a said I harassed him. <laughs> yeah. No. That's what it did. <laughs> and then I saw him not too long ago uh, at, a, a, at a restaurant on uh, Restaurant Row, and he was sitting there with uh, Fisher Stevens. I hope you and, smacked him around. And I said, Matthew, I never, you know, I said it to him. I never annoyed you. Why, why was it? He says, no, no, sometimes the papers, they write the wrong thing. They do, actually. That, that is yeah, true. Yeah, oh, come on, look what they did to you. <laughs> <laughs> All lies. All lies. <laughs> God, I, I wish they were left. They wrote. I read an article. You fell asleep on ninety five one night. Uh, was I, that, the, the the highway? Yeah. I ninety five. Was yeah. it ninety five? That's no, no. See, it's all lies. It was eighty seven. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the major deacon. We got to take a break. We'll be back. We'll tell some more lies with Vinnie Pastores and a Woody Allen play. He's got everything going on. The audio. Line. All right. Good. Back to the audio Real quick. Thanks to French Quarters Guest Apartments for being our New York City hotel. Let them be your headquarters in New York City. Go to FrenchQuartersNY.com to book your next day. FrenchQuartersNY.com to book your next day. So what, do you ever get the, uh, 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 teased by the allure of moving to L.A., Vin? Do you think... You no, know, I was out there for a while. Did you ever live there, live there? Yeah, I was living in Venice Beach. Did you like that? Yeah. Do you think that's better for work, that you'd be out there? I was getting a lot of work out there, yeah. Now, what, why'd you come back, then? Because I'm a New Yorker. You just like it. Yeah. I, I, you know, you miss New York. I found that I lived there for six years, and I did, uh, you know... Well, listen, I, I was fully accepted of the fact that if I didn't get any work here, I'd have to go back to L.A. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I, I'm the same way. I think given a choice, I'd like to be here, you know? Well, um, what hap what's going to happen now, hopefully, because uh, I wanted... I really want to do Broadway. Yeah. I did Chicago, 
And um, and then after I did Chicago, I kept telling my agent, give me another Broadway play. You did so, the play Chicago? Yeah, Where? I did, I, up the street here. <laughs> I'm born? You did? <laughs> what do you think I did in Chicago? I'm on my street? <laughs> I thought you did the Scranton. <laughs> I did the Scranton version. I didn't know you were in a play. That's impressive. So that's how you're in this movie. Up the street. So I'm trying to get serious here. So I told you. You know Ron Varick and the Carmine? I did, I did, I, I told my, you make me laugh so much, Artie. You're amazing. <laughs> Uh, do you smoke a joint for you? Come on, show I should. The good old days. So I'm up, I live in City Island. So what's more easy for me to get in my car and to go downtown, do a play, and go oh, back? That's the best. You yeah. know, instead yeah, of. So, I but mean, here's the lore for you: is that sitcom money? Because you'd be brilliant as like a, you know a regular on a sitcom, like somebody's uncle. You must get offers all the time. If you don't get five offers every pilot season, you got a bad agent. Dude. I don't get five offers. I can't every... believe that. I no, can't believe there that. was a time that I was getting. In fact, I was supposed to do. That's a guy's Deli. uncle, a neighbor, yeah. a funny guy. I mean, like, right. I can't believe that doesn't right. happen. I, you got to be out there for that, though. Yeah, they'll you come gotta get you. They know who you are. They're, 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 I mean, you know. And there's a lot of production in New York. If you didn't, if you didn't ruin your relationship with Matthew Broderick. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I did. Uh, I did Blue Bloods uh, oh, with did? Donnie, well, and uh, you know, here, I did a couple you know? of stuff. Yeah. But no, I want to do Broadway because Broadway's a steady job. It's like you come to work every day. Artie. It is, but but the sitcom is. I, I was a regular on a sitcom for two years, yeah. and I was you know supporting regular. Right. Unbelievable. You make good great, money. Amazing money. Right. The greatest money right. you could imagine. Right. But how old were you? I was 32, 33. Yeah, well, I'm 67 years old. Yeah, I don't want to go. I don't want to. Can you tell? <laughs> it's I it's retired work. L. I don't want to die in L.A. It's no. retired work. This is this is real work. Body, I got my pension coming in from Screen Actors <laughs> Guild. I got my pension coming <laughs> in right. from AFTRA. All and right. I got Social Security. So going down to Broadway and picking up a couple of bucks is like extra money for I me. Had a, I, had 11, then I, I had 11 or 12 lines a week on the show. That's I all you had? On ABC. That's all you had? Take a guess how much I made a week. I'll Twenty-five grand. Thirty-five thousand dollars. Yeah, and you blew it all up your nose. <laughs> <laughs> Someone here. Uh, no, but, I mean, it's 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 like you know, come on, man. You can do. You can be. It's cake. It's a cakewalk for you. Are you try, why are you trying to talk me out of doing this bullet so much Do You really got a phone call for 40 hours? You ain't going to get the part, man. Well, I don't, no, 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 no. I'm saying you should do bullet so much How long are you going to do it for? How long are you going to do it for? Until they tell me to go home. Come on. That's a lot of work. That's well, a lot of work. It's not a lot of work. Yes, it is. It's a lot of work. How is it a lot of work? In Broadway, you got to go in a costume and makeup. You, uh, you're singing every five seconds. <laughs> Choreography. <laughs> fucking art. I can't say You fuck. can't curse. Can't curse. Artie's trying to get me off this guy. No, I'm play. saying do it for a couple You're of weeks. You're trying to... Couple of weeks? Do you it to can't you. do it for a couple of weeks? Do it to your eligible for a Tony Award. <laughs> yeah, okay. And then, and then tell him to take a walk. And then go do the Big Bad Theory or something. That's it. <laughs> but we're not supposed to know that. Maybe Woody's watching right now. Don't yeah, tell I'm Woody sure. that <laughs> I'm walking off the show. <laughs> right now, Woody's staring at Sunyi going, what the hell did I do? <laughs> The Maybe he can't sleep, and he's watching right now. Does Sunyi ever come out on the set? Yes, but don't see now. You really want to get me fired. <laughs> Why? What Next are you going to do? You're going to say, "Oh, is he a pedophile?" No. I say no. We all know that's true. <laughs> no, of course he isn't. She was above it. I bet you five dollars. Come Monday after this Jewish holiday, they're going to tell me you ain't got this job no more. Jewish holiday. They're going to say you better hope they do it. No, you're going to be great. Family three, four, what. five, and six. He knows you're great. <laughs> You're gonna be doing beer league two. You're gonna get a very big part. Beer league two. You can play me in it. I don't want to be in it. You know, I was gonna comp you to open a night. You know? <laughs> now, I'm afraid, I'll pay for it. No, I'm afraid you're gonna throw a tomato at me. <laughs> yeah, right. You know what song I sing in the play? What? Yes, we have no bananas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying he's staying with the current hits. <laughs> All right, Vinny Pistor. Vinny, come back any time, man. I mean, I'm going to come back when I'm doing this Broadway play. <laughs> okay. And you I still got the job. All right, I know you'll get it. I'm saying, I'm telling for you personally, you'll be fine. <laughs> Vinny Pistor is a good man. Uh, see him in everything. The family, September 3rd. Back in the room.